let's look at how we can use Excel to run a regression and we're going to do the regression using the temperature to predict the t-type counter. Um, if you have a look at the um, exercise that was given to you um, for this example, you'll see that the temperature was fixed. There was another device measuring the temperature and then they were seeing what the J and T type thermocouple counters were doing because eventually these would ideally these would be used to predict the temperature but at the moment this was in testing phase so we're going to use the temperature as the X or independent variable and the counter as the Y variable so we're going to use T type and temperature now to do this you need to have the data analysis tool pack if you don't already have it you're going to need to add it and you can do that with file options add-ins, Excel add-ins, click on go and make sure the analysis tool pack here is ticked. Okay, so analysis tool pack, not the VBA but just the tool pack and click OK. Now click on your data analysis um, button. We want to find regression which is here. Click OK and for our data, our Y range, so what we're predicting is my uh, T-type counter, so I'm going to highlight all this, including the labels, because I have a box here that I can tick for labels, and my X variable is my temperature, so highlight all of that, including labels as well. My output range is going to be, I'll just put it here to the right hand side, and I want it replaced my y-axis variable. Be careful of that because it does it all the time. Uh, when you click on output it, it shoots it back up to the top. So for my output range, I'll click here again. Um, I want to look at my residuals and my residual plots. Now please do what has been taught to you in the lecture. So if you don't need this, don't worry about it. Um, but it's just something I use when I do regression. And you can also add line fit plots if you want. So I don't have that ticked in the example below, but you can go ahead and tick that box if you want. Click OK. Okay, so here's my two graphs. Now the reason I did residuals is because um, you don't really want to see any trends in your error. So you can see here there's a clear uh, quadratic trend. So for um, this range here the error was quite small but for down here and up on the left and right hand side my error was quite big. Um, so ideally you don't really want to see that when you're doing prediction with regression. That's, that's not a good sign. However, our model is an extremely good fit. So the variables we want to look at, I'm going to scroll over to the left because I have these v values highlighted already, uh, is our multiple R. So that's the correlation between what the data we actually have and what we predicted would occur. So it's a very, very strong correlation, 0.99, and the maximum is 1. And our adjusted R squared, which is this value, squared, um, and this can be expressed as a percent, so 99% um, of our dependent variable can be explained by our independent variable. So 99% of the variation in my t-type counters can be explained by the temperature. Now this is the p-value for the model, it's our significance. This is in scientific notation because you can see it's to the minus 17, which means there's 16 zeros in front of the 4. So it's a very, very, very small number. If this is less than 0 0.05, that means your model is very good and your dependent predictor, which would be our t-type counter, is or our, our temperature, sorry, is a very good predictor of our t-type counter. And down here are, are the p-values for your intercept and for your predictor. Um, so have a look at your lecture notes um, for more about the regression model, but this is how you run it in Excel.